Here is the 357 uh, model. Model 27.9, six and a half inch barrel. Bought, brand new. Mostly lead target loads put through it. My daily carry pistol. Velocities were 11.51 feet per second, 11.58 feet per second, 11.69 feet per second, 11.99 feet per second, and the last one was a repeat. Um, don't know exactly. Penetration of the bullets was four, two of them at 14 and three quarter. They're virtually in the same spot. Uh, 15 and a half, 15 and three quarter, and 16 and one sixteenth inch penetration. First bullet weighed in at 156.9 grains, minimum expansion 0 0.608, maximum expansion 0 0.648. This bullet managed to uh, barely walk out of the end of the block. Second bullet weighed in 157.8 grains, minimum expansion 0.595 where there was a break in the, uh, in the mushroom, maximum expansion was 0.651. Third bullet weighed in at 156.6 grains, minimum expansion 0.590, maximum expansion 0.652 inches. Fourth bullet 156.9 grains, minimum expansion 0.591, maximum expansion 0.647. Last bullet weighed in at 158.3 grains with a minimum expansion of 0.526 where it deformed heavily with a maximum expansion of 0.673. Um, the bullet began to split and really uh, uh, deform quite a, quite a bit. Um, most of them mushroom very nice and evenly, about the uh, perfect. Um, a mushroom uh, at the same uh, width is actually better than the star shape you see in the modern hollow points because it creates more resistance and crushes more tissue with more surface area. Um, the temporary cavities um, at maximum were about one inch. Uh, the, the permanent stretch cavity was maximum of one inch. Um, all of them were around about an inch and a half long. The shortest uh, stretch cavity was five and a half inches with the maximum being eight and a quarter.